Pigeon League. Where'd the name come from? Uh, it, it, from Messenger Pigeon, Carrier Pigeons. Okay. First iteration of Pigeon League. Mm-hmm. Is it strictly focused on photos? Yeah, yeah. So strictly focused on photos. It wasn't pretty. Um, it didn't have a bunch of features, but it worked. It did one thing right. You can upload a photo. And then actually, when I started doing research of how I was going to print the photos, I stumbled across this website because I was looking for photo printers. And I stumbled across this website. First, I thought I'm going to buy something in Best Buy. Then I was like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. That's going to make sense. Then I came across this other company um, in California. And it was like, oh, this is what we do. Now, this is when the big, there was like a big push on photo apps back then where everybody had a photo app. And people was printing and shipping photos. And they said, basically, you know, you can tie in us and we can print and ship it. I was like, okay, perfect. So they became our fulfillment center. Um, I told them my story. You know, I won them over. And um, I pitched them on an idea. And I thought they wanted to be my partner in it. So then I was able to integrate with them with no cost. And then they said, well, we're going to charge you. I don't remember what it was. I think 20 cents per photo or something like that. For every photo they printed for us. So I can just say, okay, I'm going to upsell it. I'm going to sell it for 50 cents. And that was a very basic early version. And then we ran into a marketing problem where we had the product built and it was like, okay, now how are we gonna get the words out? How are we gonna get the word out about it? And what I what we didn't have is the resources to do like Google ads and big, big marketing pushes and things like that. That stuff can get really expensive really fast. Um, so what I did was I just took what I knew about the, the system. I knew that everyone in prison is public record. All that information is publicly available. So I said, why don't we build, I went back to the developer, I said, look, here's a database and a public record database that has every person that's in jail. I need you to do something to get their name and address for me in a list so we can mail to that list. She said, oh yeah, we can do that's called a web scraper. It's easy, we'll write it up. Perfect, let me get that. So she did it, she built it, and then we used that list that we had and we created our mailing list. And then what we would do is we would send greeting cards to everybody on that mailing list to say, hey, there's this new app that's focused to help you get photos from your loved ones on the outside. Tell your family members to go to this website and try this new service, blah, blah, blah. That was our marketing. And when we sent it out, we just had a bunch of people start showing up at the website. It just started going viral. And that's how, that's how we got our first. That, that first 500 postcards that you send to the inmates, the inmates receive them and actually respond. Yeah, yeah. The, so what the inmates would do is once they would get it, they would reach out to their girl, they would reach out to their mama, their baby mama, their uncle, whoever, and say, yo, now you have an easy way and stop giving me excuses and finally get the pictures I've been begging you for all this time. Go to this website, it's only 50 cents. And people did it. I love your story. So I want to take a second because I want to pull out some gems. Again, if you are an entrepreneur in business, if you are an aspiring entrepreneur, Listen to this man's story. He's out for less than a year. He figures out a way to get the most basic, the most basic iterations of his his idea up and running. You don't have to know it all, but you have to get started. I want to say that again. Entrepreneurs and want to be entrepreneurs. They spend too much time thinking. You, 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 you overthink yourself right out of an opportunity. Just get started. The rest, like you said earlier, Fred, most entrepreneurs have an accelerated rate at which we learn. If you're a true entrepreneur, you're going to figure this thing out. But you can't figure something out writing down everything in a notepad. It has to come to a time where you put practical application and start problem solving. So I love the fact that you got started, you got your business up and running. And one last thing I wanna point out is the figure it out part. You had this iteration of your idea, you have the app, you know it's an idea that could work, but you're stuck. I don't have money for Google ads. I don't have money for Facebook. What do I do? Again, comes down to problem solving. Public records. It's simple as that. It's not the most ingenious thing in the world. It's not high tech, 
I send postcards to my target demographic and you saw right off the bat that this idea that you conceived while you were locked up, there was a real need for it. The yeah. inmates responded by speaking to their loved ones and you're off to the races. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.